Your name is now synonymous with managerial greed at the BBC because of the massive payoff you received. How do you feel about that? Well, I appreciate, obviously, and understand that it was a lot of money, and I appreciate, too, Victoria, let me stress that, the uh, concern and uh, criticism about the executive payoffs. I, I absolutely don't think that it was um, uh, greed uh, on my part at all. I lost my job. I was made redundant. I was given the terms I was given by the BBC. I left when I was uh, told to leave by the BBC. Uh and, uh, you know, after 32 years of working there where I was devoted to the corporation, the last thing that I would ever uh, uh, think or feel was that I uh, would want to have greed. It was a lot of money and it was in a context that I was the number two at the BBC. I'd served over 30 years there. Uh, obviously, your terms are based on your salary and your length of service. Um, and it was in a context where... Uh, there was 25% of senior managers being uh, uh, reduced, you know, being made redundant in the BBC over a very short period of a year, two years, a very big cull, if you like, of um, uh, of the senior management. And I, I felt strongly myself that within that se senior management cadre, it should touch every level, including right at the very top. I didn't want to go. I, I love my job as being head of the journalism of the BBC. I was planning the Olympic Games. I was doing the big uh, uh, move to the uh, new broadcasting house of BBC News and the World Service moving to the building there. You know, not, not yours in Salford, but the, the new broadcasting house in London. Uh, and I love my job, but I absolutely understood that if it touched me and that the uh, job uh, closures involved me right at the top, I would accept it. Do you think um, you deserved the one million you received? Well, it was the terms that the BBC said I uh, uh, should have in the context of losing my job. It well, was, half, uh, half a million was contractual and around half a million was over and above what your contract entitled you to. No, I was, uh, I was en uh, entitled to a, a year's redundancy in, in, within the BBC, depending on the length of service, obviously, you have a maximum of two years, but within the executive uh, uh, board that was reduced some years ago to only a year. Do you think you deserve uh, and, the million then? Well, can I just f firstly just answer that one? And then the BBC uh, had said that although uh, they wanted me to stay on until June 2011 in order to do all the detailed transition work of handing over the journalism ju duties, uh, ensuring that all the Olympics planning was absolutely rock solid and detailed in the handover. And also I led all the royal wedding coverage uh, uh, of um, uh, April 2011, that they wanted me to stay on until 2011. And uh, 11 in June, but they wanted to announce it immediately in October 2010 in order to create momentum for that overall savings program and to create momentum both externally and internally that in reducing the senior management it was going to go right to the very top. So, although I wasn't going to be leaving until uh, later, they wanted to announce, and they said in that context as well, in, in you doing all the work, this is what we want you uh, uh, to do and the these are your terms. Those terms given to me were approved by the appropriate body, which was the BBC's remuneration committee of independent non-executive directors. I wasn't there. I took no part in it. And I was given what I was given. And, uh, you know, I lost my job, given what I was given and agreed to do what the BBC wanted. I accept it was a lot of money. I accept that it has caused criticism alongside other cases, you know, not singularly that I think. But did you think you deserved it? I have never negotiated my salary from the day I joined the BBC, age 20, on a holiday job. I'm right not through. asking you that. I'm asking well, you hang if on. you think you It is an important it. context, Victoria, in that I, I myself got what I was given and they thought that that was the right terms did in you, the context think, of me losing my job. Did you think twice before accepting it? I All I wanted was for the BBC to uh, feel that the terms that they were giving me were the terms that they thought were fair and correct and that it was approved appropriately. It was approved by the Remuneration Committee. I mean, I've seen from the, um, from the uh, uh, Public Accounts Committee that uh, the Director General was 
uh, clearly engaging with the chairman of the trust as well. I, I absolutely understand he didn't have the locus of formal approval, but it, the, the, the body that did have the locus of formal approval, the uh, remuneration committee, they the, were the ones that uh, uh, s approved that uh, those terms were fair and right in the context. And in I that, understand that. And in that, I, I accepted them. Did it never occur to you that it might do great reputational damage internally and externally to the BBC and continues to do so? Well, the context was even then three years ago, the salaries of the senior executives were uh, uh, getting criticism. The pensions of those that had been there a long time, although I'd only contributed exactly the same as any other member of staff, uh, treated no differently in pension terms. But there was criticism of, of both. And certainly at that time, I was conscious that if the senior management reductions were going to uh, take place of 25%, they should hit every level and they should hit the very top. I didn't want to go. I hoped it wouldn't be me, but I absolutely accepted that if it should touch me, I would understand it and go. And I would lose my job much earlier than I would have ever envisaged, much earlier than I would have hoped. Uh, 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 and that is exactly what happened. But you, you, you accepted more than you your contract entitled you to you could have reflected on whether that was the right thing to do and you could have contract. decided not to accept all of that money the full contract and a uh, 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 of 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 my post was a year's up to a year's uh, notice and up to a year's um, but you continued uh, to work through to, half of that up to year. a year's uh, redundancy and the bbc said to me that we want to announce the uh, uh, job now uh, closing. We want you to stay till then. And in that context, these are your terms and they have been approved by the remuneration committee. In that but context, is, is that, Victoria... But is that it? Is that it? It never occurred to you that it could be damaging. I, the, because the, someone else negotiated it, it was fine for you to accept it. I, I absolutely understood and understand today that it was a considerable amount of money. So why and did you accept it? Because it was the terms that the BBC uh, had, uh, uh, said I should have in those uh, in the context of the savings programme. It was appropriately approved by the right body. This was not a case. Did where you ask people did your, not... your boss, Mark Thompson, who was also your friend, the then Director General, why he was san sanctioning such a huge payoff? Th th those discussions that went to the remuneration committee, I was not part of the discussions you never that had I, a private conversation with him that, about why he was giving you so much the discussions that i had with him and with the uh, uh um the, the, with the bbc were that i was losing my job i was accepting that i was losing my job uh, uh and that it would close and that the, the terms that would be given to me uh, were the terms that the BBC themselves felt were uh, uh, right and would be approved appropriately. That's what I wanted to make sure, was that uh, uh, it was approved appropriately and I was asked to leave when I left. I could, you know, I suppose I could have left at the time it was announced. I just wanted or to do what was right for the BBC in those less. circumstances. You could have accepted less. I, I was given what I was given and in the context that it had been properly approved... Uh, uh, and it was what the BBC felt I should have, uh, I uh, took the terms. Mark Thompson recently told MPs that the extra half a million or so he gave you was to keep you fully focused on your job. What did you think of that? I think what was meant there was that there was a huge task of ensuring that the largest broadcast news organisation in the world, which I was leading, that the transition of the responsibilities of duties were effectively done, that the Olympics planning the biggest event that the BBC had ever uh, covered in terms of scale and complexity, uh, that all the transition arrangements were done in the right time, in the right detail, and that uh, when I did leave, uh, editorial policy issues, Olympics issues and journalism issues were absolutely clearly documented of who was responsible and how it would run now my post had been closed. And so and you that, couldn't, you couldn't have remained months, focused like that without that extra half a million? That's his word. Uh, it, it, well, in, tell me in, what you I, think. 
well, I, I wanted to do what the BBC wanted me to do, which was once announcing that the job was closed uh, uh, to ensure that all the responsibilities of my job were properly handed over. So you weren't and that insulted. I, and that you I weren't left, insulted when he said and it that was to keep you focus. And that I left when uh, the BBC felt it was uh, the right time, having completed all my transitional arrangements. You know, I was asked to stay on the exec till the uh, executive board until the March and to continue in the role until uh, all those work, work uh, responsibilities had been completed. And you weren't insulted by him saying it was to keep you fully focused? No, I'm, I'm not insulted by those words at all. I think he was trying to explain, firstly, that uh, the whole drive of the closure of the post was in order to save money, uh, uh, that... Uh, you know, the streamlining of management tiers was really going to happen now and would hit the very top. A whole tier would be coming out that savings uh, would be reaped from these. Uh, and that is exactly what's happened. There's 25 percent reduction in the senior management, more than 30 million in savings. And the, the closure of my post now, as we speak today, is producing savings year on year on year for licensed payers to go back into programs. How do you think it sounds to licensed payers? to hear you say that effectively you needed half a million pounds to remain focused on your job. I didn't say that, Victoria. I didn't say that. I didn't Thompson say did. I didn't say that I needed it in order to f focus. I, what I've said to you is I accept it was a, a, a lot of money that the BBC agreed themselves were the right terms uh, for my departure. I know it's caused criticism because it's uh, the most amount in a number of cases, but it was properly approved. I did lose my job. I was made redundant. And uh, importantly, it was part of a savings programme that is now producing savings year on year on year to go back into programmes. And I did what the BBC asked of me, which is during those months uh, from the day it was announced, I that was focused, it, to use your word and his, I was doing everything that the BBC asked of me in order to do the detailed transition to continue all my responsibilities at the BBC and then leave. And when I left, uh, uh, I left and four or five months later, I began on the very project that we talked about earlier okay. uh, uh, that's culminated in the book. Will you pay the extra money back? It was properly approved, and it was the terms I was given. Will you pay the extra money back? In that context, I, I absolutely think I've done no wrong. Will you pay some of it back? I've just said to you, I've not seen any more than that. Why not? Because I think I've made it absolutely clear, uh, and I don't think I should comment any further on it, uh, because here I'm, I've, I've come to talk about uh, uh, something that in the week of remembrance is a very different subject matter. I've answered your questions, and I've said to you that it was properly approved. I uh, uh, did what the BBC asked. I was given the terms I was given, and in that context, with the whole raison d'etre of the of the job closure to in the end produce savings for the licensed p payer i did what the bbc asked and i i feel in my own behavior uh, uh, i i feel absolutely supportive of, of what what happened you it's clear that you love the bbc you continue to love the bbc but partly because of your payoff huge damage huge reputational damage to the bbc has been caused Morally, wouldn't it be the right thing to do to pay some of the money back? I think I've answered that question for you, Victoria. That's a no, then. I think I've answered the question as fully and as honestly as I can.